Hello, hamsters! In today's episode of Hamster Academy, we will talk about the advantages of cryptocurrencies over fiat money. For those of you who might be confused, fiat money is a term used for national currencies, banknotes, or simply cash. Okay, let's dive in! Crypto is decentralized. This means cryptocurrencies are not controlled by any entity like a government, bank, or other corporation. It's like having your peanuts in different places at the same time, rather than stored in just one jar. This makes your peanuts more secure in case someone wants to control or manipulate them. Crypto is transparent. Every transaction made with cryptocurrency is recorded on a public ledger called the blockchain. This means anyone can verify transactions, which helps prevent fraud and lies. Just imagine having a verified opportunity to see who really grew and imported the peanuts you love so much. Crypto has lower fees. Traditional banking fees can be pretty high, especially when you use international banking. And it's not always clear why. Crypto fees do not depend on the location, and they often have lower fees because there is no one to pay in between. Transactions are done between two parties only, the sender and the receiver. It's like paying for peanuts directly to the manufacturer without having to meet in person and paying a small fee for the meeting. Blockchain in this case. Crypto fees also stay low whether you pay for one peanut or millions. Crypto is fast. Banks are no first matter, especially when it comes to international transactions that take days and often weeks. Crypto is almost always instant, except for cases of network overload. We're talking minutes and even seconds here. You own your crypto. It's as simple as that. Your cryptocurrency belongs to you if you keep your assets in a cold wallet, which we will talk about in more details in another episode. There is no one in between, like banks that can freeze your account or impose any limitations, which means you are the one in control of your money. Hope this was helpful. Hello hamsters, today we'll talk about a strategy that many crypto investors love and follow. I'm talking about hodling. So what is hodling and why is everyone talking about it? Let's figure it out. Hodling or HODL is the international holding of cryptocurrency despite price fluctuations. The term originated from a typo in a forum post in 2013 when a user wrote I am HODLING instead of I am HOLDING. The mistake became a meme and since then the word HODLING has been used to describe the strategy of long-term cryptocurrency holding. But why would someone choose to HODL instead of selling when the price goes up? The thing is, hodlers believe in the long-term potential of cryptocurrency and prefer not to panic during temporary price drops. They expect that the value of their assets will significantly increase in the future. Why does this work? First, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have a limited supply, making them deflationary assets. By the way, I talked about Bitcoin recently. The demand for such cryptocurrencies can grow over time, leading to a price increase. Second, many hodlers believe that cryptocurrencies will become the main form of money and investment in the future. They are confident that the technologies underlying cryptocurrencies will change yes. the financial world. Therefore, they are willing to wait, even if it takes many years. However, hodling requires patience and strong nerves, as cryptocurrencies are known for their volatility. It's also important to remember that the hodling strategy is not for everyone. You should only invest money that you are prepared to lose, and always conduct your own research before making an investment decisions. Hmm. To conclude, hodling is a long-term cryptocurrency holding strategy based on the belief in its future growth. It helps investors not to panic and stay calm during market fluctuations. But remember, hamsters, all investments carry risks. Hello hamsters, today we are going to talk about an important event in the world of cryptocurrencies. An event that is both dreaded and eagerly awaited. I'm talking about halving. Let's discuss it today using Bitcoin as an example. In short, halving is the reduction of the reward miners receive for mining new blocks in the blockchain by half. By the way, check out my recent video about mining on my channel. Halving occurs approximately once every four years. However, the exact dates are always unknown. This occurs after every 210,000 blocks are mined, which requires different amounts of time. 
the difficulty of calculations can increase or decrease, ensuring that the time to find one block remains around 10 minutes. <coughs> if the number of miners increases, the difficulty rises to prevent the mining process from speeding up. If miners drop out, the difficulty decreases to keep mining on schedule. Bitcoin's initial reward for mining a block was 50 BTC. After the fourth halving in 2024, it will be 3.125 BTC. Why does this occur? It's because of the features built into the cryptocurrency's protocol. Bitcoin has a limited supply with a total of 21 million coins. Once all coins are mined, there will be no more block rewards and miners will earn only transaction fees. But why reduce the mining reward at all? It might seem strange. The reason is that halving helps control inflation and makes the cryptocurrency more deflationary. Over time, this means Bitcoin becomes more valuable because its supply is limited while demand continues to grow. <laughs> Moreover, halving is an event that many investors pay attention to because it can potentially impact the cryptocurrency's market dynamics. In summary, halving is a significant event in the crypto world affecting the supply, demand and price of the coin. Hello everyone! Today we'll talk about a fantastic way to mine cryptocurrency. Remember when I talked about proof of work? Today we'll dive into it. Yes, I'm talking about mining. It's the method used to generate new digital coins and verify transactions on the blockchain. I mentioned it recently. So, imagine gold mining. It's a hard day's work for these gold miners. But in the virtual world, instead of shovels and pickaxes, miners use powerful computers. How does it work? Miners solve complex tasks to add a new block to the blockchain. When the problem is solved, they receive a reward in the form of new coins. You might think you should become a miner too, but wait, mining has its drawbacks. It requires a lot of electricity, making it expensive and not always sustainable. In the early days, mining could be done on regular computers, but over time the tasks became more complex, and now special devices and serious equipment, ASICs or powerful graphics cards, are needed. Moreover, competition among miners is increasing, making it harder to earn rewards, so doing it alone is not profitable at all. That's why miners form what's called pools to collaborate and share the rewards. It's like my hamster friends and I teaming up to find nuts faster. <laughs> Together we are strong! But why is mining so popular? It's simple. Firstly, it's a way to earn digital coins without buying them, though it's not the only one. Bitcoin, for instance, is very expensive now. It's like gold. Secondly, it helps maintain network security. When miners confirm transactions, they make the network more reliable and protected from attacks. That's all for now, friends. I hope you have a better understanding of what mining is and why it's so popular. In future videos, I'll share even more interesting information. So subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Bye!